Here we go. Look at this beautiful out here. Every day. Oh, look at that. Good morning, everybody. How's everyone doing? This is a beautiful Friday. The weather's been great lately. Fall is here, but we're still able to enjoy a little bit of this great weather. Um, trying to make the most of this time. Hope everyone's doing well. Hi, Joe. Uh, hi, MJ Hunter. I always love seeing your name pop up. Hello, Lady Di. Good to see you. Sandy. Wow, what's up, Ron? What's up, Joe? <laughs> hi, Joe. Good morning, everybody. So a lot's been going on lately. I've been keeping very busy. You've been, a lot of you been watching and seeing what's going on uh, in our in our world. Uh, thank God for social media these days, at least in that respect. Well, there's a lot of editorial about the whole thank God for social media, but that's another story for another day. Um, the theater's been, uh, all the theater's been going crazy. At the Arcada, I'm telling you, what's happening there is really, really something. So, every day, it's like miles and miles of progress. So, right now, I'm working on the hotel suites. And uh, if you've ever been in my offices or our corporate offices there on the whole second floor, um, it's all gone. And they're starting to frame up the walls for the suites. Matter of fact, we have the 10th one now. So i got to figure out the names of them. Maybe you can help me with the names of the hotel suites. I'm going to be doing, uh, I know I'm going to do a uh, Sinatra suite and uh, a Beatles suite and a Motown suite and a Nashville suite. And probably an Elvis suite, probably a uh, Zeppelin. I don't know. I've got uh, those kinds of uh, ideas for experiences for an overnight stay. So we'll be doing that. Matter of fact, later today I'm going to check out. You know, I've never done a hotel before, so uh, I never. You know, you don't think of things like I'm going to pick out uh, bed linens and actual beds later. Uh, I'm going to. Looks like I'm going to go buy the uh, the ones from. Um, uh, the W, the, the uh, new, of course, but the ones that they use, I guess they're pretty uh, exclusive or pretty cool. They're pretty uh, uh, much in in um, demand, so I'll be checking that out. Um, the restaurants, Rock and Ravioli is starting to get their floors in. Uh, the Rock and uh, Pizza Experience. Uh, we ordered our ice cream machines the other day. Uh, it's soft serve, but with a new twist. Wait to see these things. It's really incredible. Um, good morning. And uh, and uh, the floors are down, the ceilings down, or up rather. And uh, we actually have the vintage pinball machines ordered. So that's all coming along. Uh, at 210, we've got uh, a lot of stuff happening there. Um, trying to open these places, man. I'll tell you what, people ask me all the time, of course, what's happening. And uh, but we'll get to that in a little bit about when we're going to open. But uh, 210, you know, we're still doing some uh, remodeling in a sense of making it more of a rock and roll experience, a dance hall experience. And uh, man, we finally reopened that. You're going to love that as well. This Flames, man, oh man. There again yesterday, of course. And uh, the progress there is unbelievable. Really kicked into high gear. Um, matter of fact, we started uh, paint samples. And uh, the walls are going to be just unbelievable. It's going to look like a piece of jewelry when you walk in. Uh, very excited about that. Um, they framed out the uh, the restrooms. Our bourbon and brass speakeasy on the second floor. Out, putting in new floors. I mean, and new ceilings. It's just unbelievable what's going on there. Uh, the seats have been ordered, brand new. Wait, you see those vintage uh, style seats that we've got coming there. Uh, again, plenty of restrooms on every floor, including the basement. Um, our pizza experience is going to be there as well, wood burning. And uh, a beautiful bar. I mean, just uh, this plane is going to be some place that uh, you're really, really going to love. A lot of people can't wait for this plane to open. A lot of people have been hanging in there. Like the people in the Valley have been uh, always for years patient about the Arcada. And now it is what it is, right? Well, the people of Des Plaines have been 
equally as uh, as patient, and uh, it's really going to be worth the wait uh, for what's happening in there. I'm telling you, um, this uh, it's going to be one of the finest houses for live entertainment in the country. Um, so when we get to open, when are we going to open? I don't know. Let's see. Who's there? Hi, Gary. Just planes. Yeah, you didn't know about the planes? We got that too, brother. Uh, let's see. Hi, Charles, Ron, Tracy. You're all watching. Good to see you guys. Hi, Kathy. Good morning. Uh, Sammy Gulo. Good to see you, buddy. Hi, John. Hey, Jerry. Man, I miss all you guys so much, man, from seeing all of you. You know, that's something about uh, these things that we have, you know, these places that we have. The, you know, I just, I'm, I'm so appreciative for the loyalty and support everybody's given us all this time uh, at our places. I mean, my gosh, you know, obviously I'm there every night, but to see the same faces, sometimes I'll see it two, three times in a weekend. I mean, who else can boast that, you know? Uh, I'm just so blessed because of that. You know, you look at like the House of Blues or any of these other venues. I mean, sure, we all go to those places. We see a concert now and then. Even your favorite restaurant. I can't imagine you guys go as much as you come to the Arcada or Club Arcada Speakeasy or the other of our places. So very, very uh, appreciative for that. So hopefully our restaurant operations, we can open. I don't know. I'm going to try. We're trying for October. We're going to see how that's going. That's what I'm looking looking to do. Um, the theaters, unfortunately, right now we're phase five, phase five business. And uh, you know what that means when there's a, a vaccine. So we'll see how that goes, you know. Um, I'm feeling by the holidays, hoping, you know, you say after the election and, you know, when the cold weather. That's what I, you know, I think when the weather turns cold, and all these outdoor patios gotta go away. Well, then uh, I think they're gonna make some concessions. They're gonna have to, because then the restaurants are in trouble, big trouble again. Um, hello again. Um, but uh, but I think it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna have to some concession has to be made. And now I'm hearing that what uh, some of the politicians, the government wants the restaurants to do is to, with the tents that they've had, you know, the canopies. In order to stay open, they could put walls on the tents. Now, maybe I'm missing something. And maybe I'm not the tent genius I thought I was. But if you put the walls around the tents, doesn't that by definition make it an enclosed operation? Which means, why don't you just go inside? Uh, there's talk about uh, the air is a little bit different, but you know you could do that too inside. So, who knows? Who knows? Hi, Sandy, Tim. Joey, good to see you guys. Uh, what else we got here? Yeah, I'm trying to preach it. <laughs> uh, hi, Joanne uh, and Leanne. Jimmy, so good. To, oh, Madia, how you doing? Good to see you. Um, so we've been working on this whole Italian thing, too. I mean, you guys know I love my heritage, just like you all do, I'm sure. No matter where you're from, you should be proud of who you are and where you're from. I know that. And uh, I love my Italian heritage. And, you know, I'm very involved with my... National Italian American Sports Hall of Fame hat. There you go. And, uh, um, you know, this whole uh, Columbus thing is something I've been uh, very passionate about, very working on very hard uh, with my rallies that we put on. We put one on Taylor Street down by Regal Park. That was great. That, uh, that video's gotten uh, close to 300,000 views. So we're making a, uh, a, a dent here, at least in awareness. And then we did the North Side Rally by the new Hall of Fame building on Harlem Avenue by Bertucci's and Gino's and La Bamboniere. And that was very well attended. Uh, and the video's out, out of controls with that as well. And then we did uh, uh, the South Side one uh, last week. Found the old neighborhood club down the 31st and Shield. That was awesome, too. What's up, killer? And then uh, the people, people have been so supportive about that. And you know, for me, it's really, you know, the Columbus thing's important. You know, they're, they're trying to take a holiday away, take our parade away, they're taking our statues away. But, you know, I'm so concerned about just perpetuating and fostering our heritage. My daughter's 15, I want her and her kids to know who they are and where they came from and why should, they should be proud of their heritage. So that's why I'm doing this stuff. Um, we're gonna be all getting together on Columbus Day 
Yes, it is a national holiday. I don't know how we could not, you know, just not do it. Not people say just, just cancel it. I mean, it's a federal holiday. It became a federal holiday. Uh, the awareness about the holiday was uh, first happened in 1934 with FDR, but the F, uh, the uh, the federal uh, <coughs> excuse me became a federal holiday in 1968, and it, uh, we've been celebrating as a community a way to celebrate our heritage and culture since then for the Italian community. So for people just to walk up and say, you know what, we don't believe in the icon that you guys are celebrating for whatever reason, um, historic, uh, if there are histor historic reasons, but there's a way to do it. You know, I'm not here to defend any of that stuff because I wasn't there 500 years ago. I mean, I'm as learned as the next guy, but there are, are people a lot smarter with me with regards to the facts about Columbus and, and, uh, and what really happened and who he really was and did he do this or did he do that. So I defer to them. As far as I'm concerned, I want to perpetuate the green, white, and red of my heritage. And that's what I'm doing. So um, it's been crazy, um, but people have been supportive. Um, sure, there are people with, with differing um, uh, perspectives. I mean, I did something yesterday that, man, oh, man, it, it was very dangerous. Very dangerous. Talk about people with, with uh, differences of opinion. Uh, I have this show every Thursday night. I, uh, I uh, have on, uh, online uh, on uh, YouTube and my Facebook page. It's called Artist on Lockdown, Hanging and Banging. And I do it with two co-hosts, two legendary icon drummer of uh, rock, rock and roll drummers, Vinny Apice, the drummer from Black Sabbath, Dio, and uh, Last in Line. And then, of course, his older brother, now my older brother, Carmine Apice from Vanilla Fudge, Rod Stewart, Jeff Beck, and so many other uh, uh, bands. I co-host the show with these two guys every week. And yesterday I did something very dangerous um, because we had a madman on. That's right. We had Ted Nugent on. And you know, for me, we've had Ted Nugent at the, uh, at the theater. And, uh, and, you know, sure, there's some soul searching there. I mean, it's a controversial uh, person. There are those who are so passionate about their hatred for the man and what he stands for. And, and I respect that. I really, really do. Um, but, you know, my politics have been conspicuous by their absence, you know, because that's not why you come to the Arcada. That's not why you're watching this right now. <clears throat> I've got my opinions, of course. But uh, there's enough opinions out there. I know what my purpose is. My purpose is to entertain you with the music, with icons, with legends, with memories. And, uh, and I don't want to um, fray from that, you know. Um, so when I had somebody like Ted Nugent on yesterday, sure, there's all kinds of accounts of things that he may have said or done or anything like that. Um, but for me, it's about the music. It really, really is. Um, you come to the Ted Nugent show, it's not about po politics. It was two hours of solid rock and roll. And if you look back in history, he's provided some of the greatest music in rock and roll. I mean, arguably, of course. If you're not a fan, you're not a fan. I respect that too. But um, it was dangerous yesterday, but I'll tell you, it was amazing. Go to YouTube and check out this interview. It was so exciting. It was so electric, uh, not controversial. Sure, he threw in a couple shots. You know, he does that. You know, I'm not a fan of that stuff. I mean, that's not what we're here for. We're here for the music. I hope you guys are enjoying music. I know people have been uh, uh, sending me. Uh, let's see. Keith, how you doing, Keith? Good to talk to you. Uh, hi, Natalie and Susan. Dan. Jen, good to see you. Hope everything's well. Cindy, hope you guys are doing good, man. Hi, Becky. Pete, you know, again, I miss you guys. I know I get a lot of, I get a lot of love on, uh, online here about uh, missing the music and missing the arcada. And, um, oh! Yeah. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> Good to see you. Wait, hey, check out this face on this guy. Look at the face on this guy. Hello, no, not this. Buongiorno. No, no, let's talk about this guy right here. Chicha, okay. Chicha. Chicha, look at this guy. Chicha Pasticcio. Chicha Pasticcio. How you doing, Chicha? Uh, my son got a new license plate for his uh, Lamborghini. For his Lamborghini. What, is this? what are they? Uh, Chicha. Yeah, <laughs> You see, I'm surrounded over here. Have a good day. Buona giornata. Grazie.
Grazie. Look, he's still talking to this freaking guy. Look, he's chasing me now. Look at him with the dog. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> oh, how funny. Anyway. Um, we're starting to come alive with some of the uh, music. I see it. Um, you know, a lot of outdoor stuff. A lot of the people that we work with are, are working now. And so I'm so happy for them. Um, you know, uh, we're just not, uh, we're not there. Those numbers, those... 25% numbers and stuff just don't work for us. You know, our place, our operation is a little bit too big. These guys singing now. Look at this guy. <laughs> How many times you go around? Ten? Uh, four. Four. Oh my gosh. I have a freaking heart attack. Um, but um, but yeah, God bless them and, and all you guys for supporting uh, the live music that's out there. Um, a lot of them are working at least every weekend. Um, and you know, we hope to do it again soon. Wild West Town, you know, we've been working uh, really, really hard trying to decide what we're doing. I mean, we've been keeping it up, but again, such a big operation since to open for you know a couple of a few weekends. Uh, the numbers don't make sense, and I've got a, I've got a, um, uh, a corn maze. Yeah, I got a corn maze now. Who the heck has a corn maze? Um, I thought for this year, I had to plan it before earlier, obviously. Cause it's not you know, just put it there. See, I didn't know it. I've never been to a corn maze. So people are saying you should have a corn maze out there. I'm like, sure. So I got this farmer. He came in and he planted all the corn and he did it. I got to put this on online. He, he did it so that like the Onesti name was, it, it was the maze is the Onesti name. Kind of funny. I didn't ask for that. Uh, but uh, uh, he, uh, he did that. And, uh, and I've got this maze, and it's beautiful, and nobody's walking through it. Isn't that sad? Um, we're just not allowed to open. So I grew a whole corn maze for nothing. So maybe I'll just do a time where it's uh, officially or unofficially off the record. You guys can bring your kids and your grandkids and just plant the corn maze. Maybe we'll do that around Halloween. I don't know, because it's really cool. But anyway, uh, let's see. Hey, Mark, good to see you guys, Julie. Miss you too. Uh, Kurt may, yeah. No, yeah, uh, Michelle DeSantis, yeah. Come, bring the grandkids, of course. Maria, good to see you. Carmine, how's day? How's everything, buddy? Vito Cesaro, he's one of the guys working. And uh, again, we thank God that the, the work is out there, starting to come back. Um, I had, uh, also, you saw I posted it uh, earlier in the week, uh, Kevin Matthews. Remember him from The Loop? And Jimmy Shards. That was a terrible impersonation. Anyway, he came to say hi. He just stopped by. He says, I've been seeing what you're doing. I want to see what the renovations. He stopped by. And uh, that guy, I tell you what, you know, he's been fighting MS for a while. Um, he's a little, little, uh, uh, it's just so great to see him. You know, he's a, he's a trooper. He's a, he's a legend himself. Um, and one of my all-time radio heroes. So it was great to see Kevin Matthews. Um, big Al. You know, this guy, Al, what you do and support us. Uh, if we had a thousand of you, we would never have to sell another ticket. Hi, Kenny. Hi, Leanne. Mario Rizzotti. Let's go. I'm, I'm going. I'm going. I'm diamo. I'm trying my best. Addy, how you, how you doing today? Um, I mean, I could do this all morning. Everyone's just, you know, Natalie. How's things down at Taylor Street, my dear? Good to see you. Maria, nice to see you. Maria Gullo. My gosh, Regina. Um, it's just so nice to see everybody, um, but I'd love to see you in person. Um, thanks for supporting us at the Arcata Theater all these years. And I'm telling you, you know what's the nicest thing right now? Because we went, we did this first. Yep. Is it the theater? Is it the dressing rooms? Is it the hotel rooms? Is it the new restaurants, new bars? The nicest thing right now that we're almost 90% done with? All the new bathrooms. <laughs> You're going to want to go by us. I should sell tickets just for you to use our urinals because they're brand new and they'll be probably one of the most appreciated things at the Arcada Theater. So, um, you know, again, keep in touch. If there's anything I can do for you, if you just need a, a pick-me-up, I'm here for you. If you need uh, a ride somewhere, you need some food, want me to come over and cook for you, maybe I'll do that some houses, you know, because I love cooking. Um, I, just, I just miss everybody, miss the restaurants, miss the, the theaters. The entertainers have been really cool, too. We've been talking to them. I mean, remember, entertainers, believe it or not, they are people, too. 
<laughs> in a lot of respects they are but for the most part they're people too and they're missing everybody and they're quarantined and they're not their tours are canceled their shows are canceled i'm talking about the national entertainers uh people that are just you know they're not doing anything and uh and they call all the time like hey how you doing you know and that's like kip winger or brett michaels or uh, tony orlando or paul anka they're like you know just talking they just call and see how i'm doing so everybody's checking on us so um once again you know, everybody says we'll get this to, through this together we're at the point now we know we can get through it together but we have to get through it on our own we have to be have that inner strength because this has been six months this has been brutal for so many people for all of us in so many ways financially uh morally uh, just you know just even even the usage you know our restaurants are closed you know you're not using plumbing your refrigeration is going i mean the restaurants are just getting freaking killed the entertainment industry uh the forgotten industry not to sound like a martyr but uh, the entertainment industry is definitely the forgotten industry and in all this stuff because there's really nothing um, governmentally yet. Uh, they, there's some promises out there, but right now we're closed and that's it. There's no funding that they're, they're allowing us, nothing like that specifically for our industry or grants, all that stuff, just not there. And, um, and the sad thing is as restaurants are starting to open and smaller situations are starting to open and churches are starting to happen, um, as far as venues, Nothing on the horizon yet. I mean, nothing with regards to um, letting us know. So we have to keep the faith. Um, we have to keep uh, 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 our confidence up. You know I'm not going anywhere. Uh, when we come back, I'm going to come back swinging and come back fighting. It's going to be as exciting as ever. The entertainers are going to give you shows that they've never done before. Um, not only do they have a lot of new material they've been writing, but the excitement and the drive and the energy they have a bridle from within that they're going to unloose uh, as soon as uh, the, the uh, uh, all this stuff they're allowed to perform. It's the, the excitement, the excitement you're going to have when you go to your, you start going back to your um, uh, the shows. It's going to be incredible. So once again, you know, look at all the likes, look at all the hearts. I again, Michelle, Mary, Eddie, good to see you, Frank, Frankie. Thank you, buddy, uh, for all your help. Um, you know, we just got to stay united, united in music. United in Meatballs. That's kind of my mantra these days. Um, stay in touch, everybody. I love you very much. I hope your family is well. I hope you're well. And um, get outside. Get out of the house. If you can, get out of the house. Um, stay safe. I mean, wear the mask, do the social distancing, whatever you believe in. Uh, but enjoy nature with this fine weather. I mean, look at this out here. Just look at what I get to see. You know, I walk this every day. Look at this. It's just beautiful. I'm telling you, it's good for the soul. It's good for the heart. Uh, and if you take that deep breath, it's really good for the insides. All right, Rocky, good to, uh, good to see you. I miss you. Hi, Tuts, Terry, uh, Jamie. It's really good to see you guys, uh, that you're awake <laughs> this early, actually. Um, let's stay in touch. You guys, text me, email me, whatever it is. I want to know that you're out there. I just had to stay in touch with you. Have a great, great weekend. Um, I know there's a lot of stuff that we're doing. Um, uh, we're doing more renovations all we're doing seven days a week so hope you guys are well love you very much please stay in touch stay safe and stay healthy have a great weekend